Harold, our hornbill. Harold lived in a great hole high in the tree trunk of a flame tree. His most promising feature was his flaming red bill matching the blossoms of the tree. Harold was quite happy in his cell and felt no urge for freedom. Then something happened to change the course of his life. One afternoon, he was awakened from his siesta by a loud thumping on the wall and the large yellow hungry eyes of a civet cat staring at him. Before Harold could be seized, his parents flew at the cat. Both roared lustily and in the ensuing melee, Harold tumbled out of his nest and landed on my garden path. Before the cat or any predator could get to him, my grandfather picked him up and took him to the sanctuary of the veranda. Harold had lost some wing feathers and did not look as though he would be able to survive on his own, so my grandfather and I made an enclosure for him in our front veranda. We took over the duties of Harold's parents. We soon dispensed with the enclosure, but Harold made no effort to go away. He had difficulty flying. In fact, he asserted his tenancy rights, at least as far as the veranda was concerned. Harold had a stomach which could never be filled. Fruit, insect or animal food and green leaves were all welcome. He gave much time and thought to his personal appearance. He carried a rouge pot above the roots of his tail feathers, which he used as an item of his morning toilet. He would toy with anything bright or glittering and often swallow it afterwards. Harold loved bananas and dates and balls of boiled rice. I would throw him the rice balls and he would catch them in his beak, toss them in the air and let them drop into his open mouth. He perfected this trick of catching things and in time I taught him to catch a tennis ball thrown with some force from a distance of 15 yards. Although he never seemed to drink any water, he loved the rain. He would start chuckling to himself about an hour ago before the first raindrops fell. Harold would get very excited and scream wee wee as the first drops of rain hit the veranda steps. The wind would carry the rain into the veranda and Harold would spread out his wings and dance, tumbling about like a circus clown. My grandparents and I would come out to share his happiness. Years later, I still miss Harold's raucous barks and the banging of his great bill. I hope that if there is a heaven for good hornbills, Harold gets all the summer showers he could wish for and plenty of tennis balls to catch.